Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vidyuta Studio and today a quick video to share with you a free transition from our movement transition pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download the transition by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction and the DRFX file. Just double click on the DRFX file to install it. It will just prompt open this window and then you can just click install. Then once in DaVinci Resolve, you can find the transition by going over to Effect, Video Transition, Video Editor Studio, and then here you will find Sample, and in Sample, you will have the Pan and Tilt Whip. Let's see together how to use it. As you can see right now in my timeline, I have two clips, and if I try to just bring that transition in between the two clips, nothing happened. It's because we need to trim the edges of those clips in order to be able to apply the transition. That's just how it works for any transition. The excess that we're basically trimming is allowing enough space for the transition to happen. So now that we trim all two clips, we can go over to the transition and drag it in between the two clips. Now if we play it, as you can see, we have a whip pan transition going from left to right. But as the name indicates, it can either be a pan or a tilt whip transition. So as you can see right here in the inspector, we have a few parameters that we can play with. Right now, by default, it's set from left to right, but we can select right, and now it will be from right to left. To make it a tilt whip transition, you can also select up, and now it will go from down to up, and we can also select down, and it will go from up to down. You also have the possibility to adjust the look of the transition here with the edge and the blur strength. So right now, if we go in between the two clips, exactly where the transition is happening, right now the edge is set as mirror, meaning that it will basically mirror the clip. We can select wrap, and as you can see, now the clip is stuck on top of each other. So that just give a different look to the transition. As mentioned, you can also play here with the blur strength. So right now, by default, it's at 0.5, and we can just increase that, for example, here at 0.7. That will essentially give an effect of having more motion blur when the transition is happening. Also, you have possibility to adjust the length, timing, and type of animation. So here, to adjust, for example, the length of that animation, we could simply extend here uh, our transition. And as you can see, it will just take more time to happen. But I would not recommend for a transition of that kind to be extended too much. On the contrary, I will recommend it to keep it as short as possible to really help blend the two clips together. As you've seen, you can do that directly here by adjusting the transition, but it's also available right there in the inspector where you can just adjust that transition in duration or in frame. Another thing you can adjust is also the type of animation. So right now with the in and out, you can basically select different curve. By default, it's set to expo, but basically those curves represent a type of animation and you can just experiment with them. Uh, the in being the beginning of the animation and the out being the end of the animation. So this will be the in and this will be the out. So if you want to experiment with that, feel free to do so. But by default, they are set to expo for a good reason is because in my opinion, that's the best looking one. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and that you will enjoy the transition. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.